So this study actually addresses an important unmet medical need in respectful gastric adenocarcinoma. Uh, how do we select patients for adjuvant chemotherapy? Because studies have shown that a lot of patients cannot uh, complete or even proceed to adjuvant chemotherapy. In clinical trials, the percentage is even less than 50%. Our study utilized a very large database, a national cancer database, which is the U.S. National Registry, covering about more than 70% of newly diagnosed gastric cancers. We used chemosensitivity to new adjuvant chemotherapy as our predictive biomarker. We used a very simple and intuitive definition a very sensitive means pathologic complete response. Sensitive means pathologic uh, stage is less than clinical TNM stage, excluding those who have achieved uh, complete pathologic response. Refractory means pathologic stage is equal to or greater than clinical stage. So our study finally included 2,382 patients with clinical stage 2 to 3 gastric adenocarcinoma. Of them, 1,583 were refractory patients, 727 were sensitive patients, and 172 had uh, very sensitive disease. We found no overall survival benefit um, by administering adjuvant chemotherapy in all comers, even after we adjusted for uh, various factors. Uh, interestingly, uh, our study found that there's a significant interaction of chemosensitivity on the effect of adjuvant chemo on post-operative overall survival. We found that patients who have achieved uh, sensitive disease had a longer survival if they were treated with adjuvant chemotherapy uh, with a hazard ratio of 0.64 and 95% confidence interval between 0.46 to 0.91. However, those with refractory disease or very sensitive disease did not benefit from adjuvant chemo therapy. Uh, as expected, chemosensitivity uh, is also a prognostic factor for survival. Just put everything together, our studies show that preoperative chemosensitivity may be used in selecting locally advanced gastric cancer for adjuvant treatment. Um, additional adjuvant treatment may benefit those with a sensitive disease, um, but not those with a complete pathological response or refractory disease. Uh, one strength that I would like to highlight in our study is that our definition of chemosensitivity is very simple and intuitive to measure. So once it's validated in larger and prospective studies, uh, it can be rapidly adopted in daily clinical practice.